my god, I can't believe I'm seeing you again. Oh, so do I have always so do I always have to go to LA for just for me to see you again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so excited to finally see you. I am super busy lage with all the pageant scene and all yes. of that. So it's nice to see you and happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, it's a working birthday for me. So the reason why I'm seeing Katarina right now, Katrina I mean, is because we're watching the Miss Supranational, Mr. and Miss Supranational 2023 finals night where she will be one of the judges. So yeah, as we all know, she almost won Miss Supranational for USA back in 2018. So how does it feel like to be back in the pageant scene? Oh my gosh, it feels a little weird because you know I'm in nursing school right now and I'm finally on summer break so this event just came at such a perfect time I'm excited to see how everybody performs how everyone presents themselves the male the females so I'm excited a little nervous but I'm excited what are you looking for in a winner today I'm looking for someone who really knows who they are and can portray that on the outside. Someone who's confident in themselves. They're not trying to be like someone else or you know, trying to be something that they're not maybe just to appeal to the masses. So I wanna see authenticity, authenticity, and I wanna see them having fun and enjoying it, right? Because a beauty queen or a beauty king perhaps is someone that people can relate to and someone that gets the job done but has fun doing so, right? How is it important for pageant contestants to be relatable nowadays? Because it's because everyone's saying that you have to be relatable, you have to be authentic, you have to be organic, you have to connect to yes. the judges. Why is it so important? You know, for me, that's always something that I've always wanted to stick to, is being myself and being relatable to others. Um, the reason I think that it's so important is because when you look at other you know, um, celebrities or people that young people look up to, why do they look up to them? Because either they're inspired by them or they see something in themselves in that person that they can relate to. So that's why I think someone that is an idol or someone that someone looks up to, you have to be able to relate to those who you're trying to inspire. Diba kailangan may connection. So parang ganun din in pageantry, diba? In my opinion, I feel like it's always best to relate to other people because how are you supposed to be able to help someone or inspire someone if you don't really know where they're coming from or how their mind works or how they feel. So, yun. So, nami-miss mo na ba? Nami-miss mo ba mag-judge, mag-glam up like right now? <laughs> I have not been this glam in so long. And I honestly, to be honest, I didn't feel confident. I did not feel confident coming to this event, I feel like, you know, nursing school really stressed me out. I put on some weight and I just don't feel like myself. But at the same time, I really wanted to represent for other people out there. And I'm excited. I mean, to get glammed up like this, you know, lip gloss, gown, VJ Floresca. Um, it feels good. It's fun. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. And I'm not competing, so. <laughs> for a change? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so speaking of competing, so how do you feel that there are reports. Actually, I, I got to, I got to witness, it, to witness it firsthand that Miss Universe organization or Miss, Un Miss Universe organization might increase its age wow. limit very very soon. And di ba nung time mo na sumali ka ng Miss Universe Philippines, we all egg you to join, but the age limit is preventing you now. Yes. Assuming <laughs> Miss Universe organization plans to increase its age, you know. In I Plans to take effect. The, the increase of age limit soon. Would you consider joining again? How old are you, by the way? I'm turning 30. It's my dirty 30, June 6. Um, and then I'll be done with nursing school by December. Uh huh. So. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I guess I'll cross, we'll have to wait and see. You'll cross the bridge when you get there. Exactly. <laughs> Well, how do you feel that a lot of Filipino passion fans no, keep tagging you? Parin, dahil nakapag may mga ganitong issues, increase of age limit, that's I still couldn't forget you. I don't know. I feel, and I'm I'm very um, honored. I'm very flattered 
And I think it's because, you know, we have that same feeling of just wanting to represent the Philippines. That was one thing that I've always wanted to do. That was all I wanted to do was have the Philippines sash. So, siguro sa kanila ganun din. They just want to see me be able to represent my country. But, you know, everything happens for a reason. <laughs> Naiyak tuloy, charo! <laughs> and, yeah, but going back to Mr. and Miss Supranational. Yes. Super. The winner, the win. If, get, if ever you be given a chance to help train the duo, the new duo for USA, would you be able to to share or impart your knowledge to them? Oh my god, them? absolutely. A hundred percent. People, you know, they DM me, they message me for tips or anything, and I'm so open for it. Whatever they need, if I can help, I'm here. I, I mean, I don't think I'm the best, you know, person out Almost there. Won. But yeah, very close, very close, first runner up. But you know, I am more than happy to share my knowledge, share any advice and tips out there. Of course. So Yon, <laughs> it's about time that USA wins another Mister. Oh my gosh! Oh, I really hope so for the Mister. Yeah. The ba yeah. with Nate, we saw him win the crown. Um, hopefully this year USA can bag it. <laughs> so there you go, guys. I'm so so happy to finally see her again. So. Good luck on your med studies. How many more years to go? Just four more months. Okay. And We're in knows? the long stretch. Who knows? We might see her back in our shorts again. Shut Maybe. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So, so happy to see you. Take care, bye!